just wanted to share some new things with you guys tonight from down here in Antarctica. Like we really need any more evidence that there is something going on down here other than just ice, rock, and snow, and weather. We can see that in a couple of locations, there is very, very clear evidence of something unnatural going on underneath the ice and snow. And the first place I want to start is something that I think almost everyone can agree on. Now, this doesn't look like much right from the start, but when you zoom in, it's an area of disturbance. When you look at closely, it's a series of 90 degree angles and squares, nearly equidistantly spaced over and over and over again, especially right over here. There's a whole field of them, like there's some type of grid work going on underneath the ice and snow. There's more than I can count in this region. And I will, of course, give you guys this location. It's very close to where we've been looking at already. Um, it's just down toward the water a little bit. Let me zoom out. I've labeled it 90 degree angle field, just for lack of a better term. The, uh, the cave is up here. Top of the screen, if you just go straight down as if you're coming down to the water. As you go down, this entire field, and it just continues all the way down. 90 degree straight line, equidistant spacing, complete evidence of hand of an intelligence. Because nature doesn't do this. Create these perfect squares like this. Just over and over. I mean, this looks like streets. This looks like this looks like a giant uh, blizzard over um, over covered a city. It literally looks like that. It just looks like city block after city block after city block underneath the ice. And this is and that's the thing about ice and snow. There are things that. Like during the summertime, if you would look out over a large field of um, that what didn't have corn in it, like a farm field, you would see just dirt, you know, and you would see, you know, things that looked like rises and things that looked higher and lower than the other. But in the wintertime, that exact same field with the snow on it, every little divot, every little hiccup, everything that's not, you will see it from a half a mile away. That's why sometimes hunting, scope hunting in winter is, you can see things that you would never see in the summer because of the contrast against the white. And this is as much evidence to me as anything. And here's, here's another section. I mean, look at this. This, this alone would be enough for me if I were someone in charge to chart an expedition. And it's not far. This particular part, there are areas of Antarctica that are incredibly remote. This one, zooming out here, this is 25 miles in of the coast. And there, here's Tasmania right here. New Zealand over here. I mean, we're not talking about some massive uh, distance to go. In fact, let's just go ahead and measure that real quick and see how far it is. From Tasmania to this location is about 1,600 miles. That's not even a trip across the United States. Now, given it's the Southern Ocean, it's 1,600 miles from Tasmania to the coast. Your countdown timer is done. Pardon me for one second. Alexa, end timer. Sorry about that. Had something in the stove. But just wanted to uh, cover that. And a couple of other things. There is hidden here, just in the same region. If you look real close at this location, 
it is incredibly difficult to get the resolution to show up here. I'm going to zoom this in as much as I can. Boy, it is just not showing up at all. This looks like right here. You see this, this, um, shape in the snow under what looks like underneath the snow right here. This white thing is looks like something on the bow of a ship. But if you look very, very closely and you're going to have to, I can't get it to show up because it's too, well, maybe I can a perfect figure eight right here. I guess I can get it to show up. I haven't seen anything like, I just, I don't know how this could be natural. This looks like this might be some type of a ship or, I mean, like ocean faring ship that's buried underneath the snow. But this is a, there we go. Do you see the figure eight? Something is definitely buried there. Let's see what's next. All right. Here, almost a perfect doorway. Perfect round doorway with a path in front of it that comes down. And there was this... Uh, rectangular platform area oh right here you see how just perfectly shaped this is with sharp angles I just don't know how even the most critical skeptical naysayer could say that this is something that would form naturally from the wind and the snow blowing and I don't care what angle it is yes I believe that if there's something underneath the ice and snow causing it to do that, yeah, we see this all the time in major U.S. cities that you can look at after a fresh coat of snow and you see stuff like this. But this is Antarctica. There's not supposed to be any buildings down here other than the little tiny ones that we've put up. And right, also right here, there's this giant field of mismatched, let me, sorry about that, of mismatched shadows. They're shadows of what looks like people, like right here. Shadows of what look like buildings, statues. Especially right here. What could possibly... This looks like almost a church steeple. Trying to get the, the light to uh, show this a little bit better. I really wish there was a way I could get this to show up in a little bit better resolution for you guys. But Google Earth Pro is free. It is absolutely free. It works on even three- and four-year-old tablets. Um, it's not a complicated program. It doesn't take very long to download. Also, look at this. I mean, perfect round circle. Something pointing to it. This area is just littered with mismatched shadows. And here, look at the... Look at these pillars. In a giant windblown ice field, nothing would be standing like that. Unless it had been constructed to. Ice would have worn down the wind and the constant, you know, lack of a term, I guess, snow blasting versus sand blasting effect would make everything rounded and there would be a, a, a natural look to it. I guess I just can't. Describe it with the right word, but you know hand of nature versus hand of intelligence or hand of man. And this might be the most damning one of all. 
look at this perfect rectangular top. Here. This is not something that would occur by itself. And it is, it's repeating yourself over and over again, I, I realize that, but the more evidence we can show, the more specific pieces. Look at this doorway, and then look at this perfect platform in front of it. Perfect, sloping down, here's the doorway, slopes down about 45 degrees, and then right down onto the snow. Or ice, or whatever it is. Point being, here, very, very close to looking like a partially obscured disk. Right here. I think that is... And then this doorway here. Curved over top. You can see how it goes back in under the ice, under the snow. And as far as this, uh, the yellow and the orange and the, the red, the burning, you can burn coal down here. That wouldn't be hard and get far enough into this mountain. Who knows what's in there? And I've made this allegation that uh, this perhaps is something that is uh wow some of my stuff is disappearing here it is a crash site you know this is one snapped image in time we could also be looking at fires burning from the crash you know this this hole is th three football fields wide you could have three separate football games going in this hole that's how big it is so something like this crashes here. It could have laid out all sorts of burning ejecta, material, whatever you want to call it. And that's what we could be looking at. We could be looking at, and that could be why they decided to image this area in high res, because they knew about this crash. And looking from high above, it looks like this thing came in, and all of this disturbance, everything here, could have been as a result of that crash. Just another theory, just something else to uh, to think about. And I guess I'll just leave that there. Have a great Friday night. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time.